Hello again, everybody. This is Jim, your product expert with Water Pumps Direct, coming to you with another Q&A video for your viewing pleasure, enjoyment, and hopefully some good information for you today. Today, we're going to talk about gas pumps 102 and diaphragm pumps. Um, what are you going to use a diaphragm pump for and how are they different from any other pump out there? Um, they're going to move pump or we're going to, they're going to pump water from point A to point B like any other pump. Uh, the main difference on these is they're not a centrifugal pump. They actually have a diaphragm inside that moves up and down on a cam. So on the upstroke, it pulls water in through the suction side. On the downstroke, it pushes it out through the discharge. Um, in moving water in this fashion, these can handle um, heavier types of solids and liquids. So if you've got a lake or a pond you're looking to get rid of and clean up and uh, pump the water out, get rid of all that silt and sludge and mud on the bottom, uh, this is the guy for you. This will this will handle that application. Now, that said, because you're dealing with a much heavier substance than water, that adds a lot of weight to what you're working with and what you're pumping. So pumping capacities will be reduced, as will head lift and distance that you can pump with these. Um, whereas a standard water pump might easily be able to handle a pumping distance of two to 300 feet and a lift of maybe 60, 70, 80 feet. Uh, these pumps are going to be um, limited to maybe about 50 to 75 feet of total pumping distance. That's including your suction hose and discharge hose. And your head lift, total head lift is going to be reduced to about 25 feet. Um, some will handle 50 feet, but again, when you're handling that kind of weight with that kind of substance with mud and sludge and silt and things like that, it's going to be reduced significantly. So keep that in mind. Again, they're great pumps for those applications. They do a great job. But just bear in mind, you're not going to be pumping real far with these. It's not going to be going real quick either. It's going to be a slower job. It's going to be a reduced flow rate besides everything else. You also want to make sure that you're running a suction hose and a suction strainer on that pump. So even though you're handling kind of that kind of substance, you never know what's mixed in with that. You don't want anything getting sucked into that hose and pump that's too large to fit in there. And, um, you know, keep all this in mind. Watch your pump curves and you should be good to go. So hopefully that answers questions on how these diaphragms work, what their purpose is. If you have any other questions on this or anything else on our website, any other ideas for Q&A videos, give me a call, shoot me an email. Check out our website um, so at waterpumpsdirect.com. Check out our how-to library once you get there and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So until next time, you all have a great day. Take care.